I have no respect for myself. The self that I have is a self that is lacking, and I need the world to be the way I want to. Yes. That, that could happen to me in PGE. The PGE stands for pretty girls everywhere. <laughs> we were in Indian and there were no girls. <laughs> I see. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> for you, I know, for me. Yeah, they, they deluded you by like, putting PG and E, and uh, nothing like that happened. <laughs> what happened is he, he forgot one letter. Uh. N in the front. I see. <laughs> no pretty girls. <laughs> I see. <laughs> <laughs> then, then it was pigs, goats, and elephants. <laughs> pigs, goats, and elephants, yes. So, in other words, so, this, is a, this is a very. In this, uh, this paragraph. You know, if you squeeze it, as we do, <laughs> you know, it, it really comes, to, brings into light, you know, what this, because the, the Sanskrit words are okay, but we can become hung up on the words, and we have to put it in a very, you know, <laughs> down to earth reality. You know, this is a deep prakriti guna samudaha. It refers to those who are deluded with reference to prakriti guna, which are the modifications of prakriti. So, Prakriti, you know, modifies. It appears as a man, it appears as a woman, it appears as an old person, and all these modifications. And then they take, they say these people, they take the self to be the body-mind-sense complex. This expression can also mean that people become deluded because of the mind-senses. The Reno's reference to this being the origin of the problem. In other words, the source of all the, the problems of people that take themselves to be ruled by the senses is the is 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 source of all the problems. That's why there is so much contention. You know, we want, we want it to be always sunny. We want to have a temperature around 70, 72, 73, 74, that's like that. But then it becomes 105, <laughs> and then it starts foggy, and it becomes cold. And so we're all, I say, wait a minute, just take it, my God, as it is. And don't abide in the prakriti guna, and the guna meaning abide in yourself. And just think about it. You woke up this morning, my God. And there was no guarantee you would have woken up, so you put, you put the attention where it is, and then you take the life as it comes, as it is. You cannot change it. <laughs> That's the way it is. That's the idea. So then looking upon the sense doers, such people will become bound, attached. So you take with reference to the body, mind, and senses, which is guna, and with reference to action, karma. So guna now is placed properly. It's in a modification. You know what I'm talking about, right? A modification. And the modification could be gross, it could be subtle, it could be dynamic. Remember that we talked about guna in that respect? Mm. You know, tamas, rajas, sattva. They're interesting, exotic words, but they relate to something very real. And I think we need to put them in that context so that we can actually assimilate, you know, the source and recognize the source of our problem. Because he's talking about, Swami the teacher here is talking about, in general, those who have this identification, but my God, we identify with that stuff. We are the gunas. If I grew too much in weight, then there's something wrong with me. Or I can justify it. <laughs> I'm just a growing boy. <laughs> and so on and so on. So we, we do all this stuff. All right. Do you want to read the next one, Ravi? Is there any any comments on this? Yeah, the only comment I have yes. is, you know, um, is it a, is it nature of the human beings is to be deluded? Is that, that, is that the reason we always, you know, because you don't see, you don't see clearly? Yes. Uh, In some way, I, I responded yes and no. Okay, it is yes because an uncultured person. A person that is living at a periphery level naturally has to be deluded. I mean, this is just, it's like, like when you go to a theater and you look at a show, 
a drama or a comedy. You know, you see a, a, an action movie, and then you go like this, and you become, you become all, you know, tense about it, or you cry, or you laugh, because the show is so good. You know, so those possibilities of getting oneself sucked in by the experience are very much part of the of the design. Left alone. Now, um, I don't know music, for example. I don't know. I'm not a musician. In your culture, maybe you learn about music. Now, you and I hear the same sound. And I just go by the beat, you know? And I either like it or don't like it. If they're squeaky, squeaky, like uh, Chinese music, you know, I get the chills and I don't like it, you know, I wanna go someplace else. But if I hear the, the rumba sounds or the cha-cha sounds, and, hey, wait a minute, this is my stuff, and all like that. I don't know music, I just respond to music, isn't it? Now, you might also respond to music, you know, because it does something, but then you know if that is music or is that just noise. You know, it seems like music, if you know music. Yeah. Is that correct? Yes. You see, the Beatles I hear were great musicians. Not only do they make you, you know, a rock, as I say, but they say, and I, you know, of course, I asked to go about what, that they were great musicians in terms of music. But I didn't see that. But those who know music can see that. And the other guys that are very popular, and, and the, the pop people, you know, popular. But they're, well, I mean, they just, they just make noise, that's all, but they're not really musicians. You know, the quality is very low, like that. So, left uncultured, I would be sucked in by the rhythm, by the drums and all that stuff, and the beat and all that stuff. And that's what I'll see. And I'll respond to, and I'll buy the record. Now, if I'm cultural, I might still buy the record, but now I know that there is some content to that. Why? Because I have Viveka. Viveka means discrimination. I know music. You see the idea? So, left alone, uncultured, human beings will be sucked in by the form. This is just natural. Because the, the job that God made is beautiful. My God is complete. But then, once the person matures and becomes culture, has this knowledge, he still plays the game, like the guy that buys the music. But the guy knows something. He strips it off. Yes. You know, when you say uh, by the rhythm and all the... Uh, I'm not a musician, surely. Mm -hmm. Not at all, but a little bit we learned when we were in school. For instance, those tabla, yeah, the 16 bits and 12 bits mm -hmm. and 10 bits kind of a thing. And when I hear the music, even if it is a Indian movie film, you can see somebody else listening to that, and myself listening to that. I can go look at the 16 bits or 12 bits, or and I can enjoy it more that way. That's good. How the guy has played according to the vocal theme. It, it really gives you some a depth yeah in the experience three dimensional that's correct uh, it's a depth in the experience yeah. i mean all i do is just rock mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 just how do you say that when they do that how is that you know wobble with it but i don't see that why because i don't have education in music so in the same way he or she who is left uncultured and educated in terms of life. You will play life like anybody else. It might do a good job even. But, um, I hate to say this, but this is a Mexican thing. I think I mentioned it before. Somebody, a long time ago, was walking to the hills and he dropped his flute. Grass grew and everything else and the guy never found his flute. The flute stayed there for 15, 20 years. One day, you know, that place became a, a place in which horses and jackasses and everything else used to go out there to pasture. So this jackass was well, just eating, you know, grass. And all of a sudden, he's like, whoop, 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 
you know, <laughs> fluids have fluids, fluids have flowing. And what was it? It was uh, this jackass breathing as he is eating. He was making the flute, the flute <laughs> play. We live like jackasses. Just we play the game of life without knowing what the heck we're doing. And we think we know. But if there's no culture in terms of death in it, we'll just play the game, no problem. Like I used to play billiards. And then one day, you know, that was fairly good. And then this guy called Frenchie. You know, billiards means there's two red balls and one white ball. Uh, two white balls and one red ball, you know, no pockets. You know, that's, that's a carambola we call it in Spanish. And this guy told me, he said, you, you know, you need to learn to play. He said, hey, listen, I've been playing for so many years. And then he says, look, see, come on, let me show you. You see this thing here? There's this diamond, that diamond. There's so many diamonds over there, so many diamonds over there. No, and then the ball is a, it's a, it's a circumference. And there's, there's a center, and there's a top, and there's a bottom. And, and there's fourth top, fourth bottom, you know, there's an eighth bottom. So you can hit it in different places. And there's a stroke. I didn't know that stuff. I just played. I just hit the damn ball, you know. I, I just did it and I figured out, you know, say so hit it this way, maybe when it goes like that, it'll come this way. It was just like the jackass, you know. <laughs> I played the game, but I didn't really know how to play the game. When I started learning about that stuff, then I started becoming embarrassed, you know, because I say, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not playing, really speaking, I'm just blow, 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 blowing the flute like a jackass, you know. <laughs> yeah. I had to learn. When I started, just that knowledge that that possibility was there, gave me some insight. And then I decided to learn the stuff. But then I said, you know what, if I'm gonna learn this thing here, I better learn something more profitable. <laughs> Forget it. But there's a death in everything, in music, in playing pool, you know, and in playing life. That's the thing. So yes, the nature of the mind left alone, uncultured, will just suck it all in as if it was real. And you'll be deluded, naturally. Okay, this is the nature of the mind, left alone. But that same mind, because the nature of the mind itself is perfection. When the person recognizes the truth of the mind, recognizes the truth of the universe, then it can be free from delusion altogether. So the nature of the mind is perfect. But left alone, it will just wallow in imperfection. If that's a great way to say it. Yes, have a yeah. thought now. Very good, very good point. Very good point. <laughs> that jacket, sorry about that example. You know? oh, that's a good one. <laughs>